channel in today's video i'm going to do a walkthrough of the pole girls tarot deck so let's get into it so here is the front of the deck box and here is the back of the deck box let's get into the cards so here are the cards and here is the cards booklet if we have a look through it we've got the front pages We've got some of the things in here. One thing I do love about this Dex book is that it does have affirmations on it. So for the Six of Wands, it has, I am grateful for all the things I have in my life. It has the upright meanings. It has the reverse meanings. A reflection question. So what energy is giving me life right now? So if you pull the Six of Wands, you'll maybe want to journal these questions, which I think is really cool. Six of Wands, give yourself a pat on the back. You've gotten through something tough. So it's got all that for all the cards. So another affirmations, upright, reverse, and reflection questions for all of them. So now if we're looking at the deck, let's look at the cards for this deck. We have the Moon, the Eight of Swords. So with all the cards they have on the for these decks they all have the meanings the what card sorry is it down here so we have the hierophant we can tell by the writing we have temperance i love love how this card looks <laughs> we have the knight of swords the sun the star that's beautiful we have the Two of Swords, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the King of Wands here, the World. So once again, with all these cards, they have the writing down the bottom down here. I think this would be a really nice deck probably for beginners because it kind of does stick to the same details as the Right Away deck. It's just made for, I think the word is the, the Plump. I think that's the type of art style it is. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section down below. But this deck is really beautiful. It's one that's very different. But it's it's got that kind of style to it that's kind of like the right of way. But it's not the right of way. It's just made very like... I think the word's like cartoony, I guess in a sense. But this deck is really beautiful. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Magician. The Ace of Swords here, beautiful. See how it's keeping traditional to the right away? It looks very traditional and kind of the same. So once again, with this deck, if you're looking for something that's kind of the same as the right away, I'll definitely grab this deck because it's sticking very much same to the same imagery as the right away deck. So if you're a beginner and you're like, I want a new deck that is kind of the same as the right away deck, I'll definitely grab this deck. We have the Ace of Cups, very beautiful. See how it's keeping very same and traditional as the Rider White deck? Very beautiful. Three of Wands. I love the colouring in this card too. Look at the colouring. So you, once again, if you're someone who's wanting to get more meaning out of the cards, I'll definitely recommend looking at the colours. See how this one's yellow? I associate yellow with the solar plexus. So yourself and your identity. We have the Four of Swords. We got purple there, so I'll associate purple with um, the third eye and the crown chakra, so spirituality and, um, you know, once again, more spiritual kind of meaning behind that one. We have the devil, we have the wheel of fortune. See how it's very traditional? I feel like I'm repeating myself. Um, the five of wands, the tower, the six of swords. The Ace of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles, very beautiful, the Two of Cups, once again, very traditional looking. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the 
two of pentacles i like the cowboy hat in this card we have the five of swords the eight of pentacles keeping it very traditional the high priestess once again traditional there ten of wands i would recommend this deck for probably a beginner because it's kind of sticking once again to that traditional look the six of cups the queen of swords the ten of swords the three of swords once again very traditional looking the ace of pentacles the five of cups the three of cups i love this card look at the pink hair i like how it's got that kind of twist to it um five of pentacles the strength once again it's sticking to that art theme but also it's just very traditional still looking the four of cups it's very beautiful the six of wands the seven of pentacles the nine of swords the queen of pentacles the knight of wands the two of wands and death so let's see how i'm just going to shuffle this deck so it fits really nicely in my hand it is a bit bigger so a little bit chunkier but it's still very nice here once again the seven of wands we got the magician i've been pulling the magician a lot lately if you've got a card that you keep pulling a lot lately tell me down below in the comment section it's good to shuffle it's really really nice once again i love how this deck has its little booklet and i love how the booklet is once again laid out but that is the deck review for today if you've got another deck you would like me to review leave it down in the comments down below and like and i also make other tarot reading um content on my page so go check it out but thank you for watching this video and see ya